You got no work experience, and that's the main reason why it's two times as hard for you to get a job right now in this market as a developer. So in this video, I'm going to go in and I'm going to give you guys the best resources so you can actually get some work experience and actually work with real businesses. So let's be honest. This is actually an employer's market, not a developer's market. This is not 2020 and 2021 when there was a high demand and there wasn't enough people to fill in the jobs. Right now, there's a high demand, but for skilled workers and people who have experience. And I know that guru told you, hey, you could get hired with no experience, right? You went to college and they told you, hey, with a degree, you're going to get a job. But the reality is another, all right? You actually need to have some type of work experience. But how do you get a work experience if no one's willing to hire you? There's ways to do it. So let's start with the first one. Number one is a no-brainer. You need to start freelancing. Now, it doesn't matter if you're going to make $100 or $1,000, shoot, even $20. It doesn't matter. What you're doing is going for building experience. So again, we of course know about Fiverr.com. Now in Fiverr, there's a lot of business owners, entrepreneurs, and people who are looking for someone to help them out with a project. You have things like Shopify, you have things like uh, database administration, you have email development. There's a bunch of different things. You could come right here and look at everything that's in here that you could actually do, right? Most of you guys have a lot of skills. Most of you guys have taken 20,000 courses. Yeah, have gone to boot camps. Yeah, have even gone to college. So how do you go in and put those skills to work? Put yourself in front of the business owners. Okay. Now, this is not for you to become rich. This is not for you to become this entrepreneur and agency owner. If that happens, hallelujah. But what you're doing is you're trying to build experience by building real projects. That's what people care about. That's what employers care about. They don't care about your little to-do app, your little JavaScript game, right? Your little memory game, right? They don't care about that or that you connect it to the API of open AI. Like we don't care about that as a business owner. I could tell you that if I'm going to hire someone who has never done anything before, I need to see some proof that he has worked on something meaningful, something that I could say, okay, this is related to the work that I'm going to have him do. And guess what? This person has a track record, maybe some references that says, Hey, this guy's legit. So again, that's number one. Let's go to the next one. You can actually volunteer at catchafire.org and you can actually work with nonprofit organizations, which are in a sense, a business, and you can do the work for them for free. Now I know no one wants to work for free, but guess what? Some of you guys, like I said, you're taking an online course, you've gone to a boot camp, you maybe you went to college, but if no one's giving you the opportunity, put your skills to work no matter what. This is a great chance for you to go in and put something on your resume. I'll give you a great example. We look at this website image sourcing. This is something simple, okay? Finding the images for this business and helping them set that up, right? Website content audit. Okay. If you know about maybe some digital campaigns, right? You could go in and set up the Google campaigns for this business. All right. You have other things in here like Facebook ad setup. This is like simple stuff that you can do, but now you could go in and add that to your resume. All of this is connected to web development, right? You got website copyright, okay, search engine keyword research, uh, website major update. There's a, a lot of things. Website setup, a CMS based, right? Set up a WordPress website for this organization, okay? The project could be like four to nine weeks, or it could be even less than that, all right? So, yes, the opportunity is there. You could actually build something and have something in the public. And then now you could go in and say, hey, go check out, you know, homeless.org, right? You set that up. That's a real organization, a real nonprofit. That's your first thing that you could add to your resume. Now, guys, before I continue giving you guys the best resources for you to get more experience, I want to let you guys know that we are having a 50% off at codingphase.com right now. It's a limited time only. So literally, we have 50% off for the summer. And all you have to do is go to codingphase.com, check out our program. It's not like a traditional bootcamp, and it's not a bootcamp or just an online course. It's a platform where we basically give you everything you need to go in and be able to get a job as a developer, right? 90 plus courses, the tech accelerator program, 12 hours of monthly group 
group coaching, career paths. We also have job search resources. Like we search for jobs and actually give you that list of jobs that we think you should be applying to so you don't waste time. We also go in and help you with the process with your portfolio, giving you the projects, making sure that you have everything ready to go. So right now it's literally 50% off. We're talking about a dollar and 50 cents a day, right? So monthly is like $45. And we also talking about five cents a day. Okay. So again, this is $183 for the whole year when you go in and you get that 50% off. So take advantage. I will say definitely go check it out, but yeah, let's continue. Now, the next way is actually getting in front of the business owners. So let me show you guys this, right? This is a quick story. In 2011, when I was trying to get a job for the first time, I was getting some interviews, but guess what? I wasn't getting the job. And the reason was because no one was willing to go in and take the first risk and give me that opportunity. So we're kind of, in a sense, back to how the industry was 2014, 2015, 2016, shit, 2011. All right. So you have to do the same type of strategies that I used back then. Back then for me was Craigslist, right? You guys have way more resources now than I had back then, but this is what I did. I came to Craigslist, I click over here, you see this jobs, and I click on web and info design, okay? I could go in and build a website for somebody. I knew WordPress at the time. So I just got a position in a company where it was a wholesaler, right? And I was getting, you know, a bullshit $13 an hour. But once I got that job, two months later, I got a real solid front end developer job, like with just two months of me doing that. But it put a little something in my pocket and at the same time, build my experience. So this is the same concept of what I'm telling you guys right now. And, and look at this. This is even in this day and age, like Craigslist is still there. Somebody's hiring somebody for 18 to $20 an hour with opportunity to grow in Brooklyn. All right. I'm pretty sure if you go in and you start changing the different locations, you could probably find something locally where they're not testing you. They're not doing a bunch of stuff. They just want to see what you can do for them. All right. That's just the truth. You're going directly to the business owners. They're not in there doing algorithm tests and doing this, this and that. Like, no, like they're coming in like, hey, man, I need a website. Hey, man, something's broken on my site. Hey, this, this and that. Right. I have an online store. Can you help me out? And guess what? If you can, then now you got a position. OK, it's very simple. This worked back in 2011 and this works today. All right. So let's go to the next one. Now you have Facebook groups. Believe it or not, Facebook, yes, it's not the trendy thing. It's not TikTok. It's not none of the stuff that's out here, right, that the young kids is using. But this is where the business owners is. is. You get what I'm saying? Like, this is where people are actually networking. You can go in and search for specific keywords like salon, barbershop, long service, um, power washing, right? All of those are small business owners that they need help with a website. Some of them don't even have a site. They don't know how to do it. Get in touch with people directly through here. You have drop shipping. This is a great uh, keyword that you could go in and, and see everyone who has a website that maybe they need some help with the Shopify store. You have also small business Chicago or small business Tampa, small business whatever, right? Whatever state or city you live in, I'm pretty sure there is a group or inside of Facebook groups that you could go in and join and just introduce yourself. Say, hey guys, I'm a web developer. I'm here to work with you guys. Anyone needs some help with their website, just looking to you know, either work with anyone's budget or I'm just looking to build more experience and get to network in my local area. That's it. That's the first post you do. And guess what? I guarantee you somebody's gonna hit you up. Hey man, I need this done. Hey, man, can you help me out with this site? Hey, man, I had a guy, but he never finished it. I guarantee you, you're going to get a response. Okay, so that's the Facebook groups. Now, like I said, Facebook groups are great for online networking with entrepreneurs and business owners, but you can actually do this in person. You can actually go to your local chambers of commerce. So this is actually an organization where literally what they do is they help business owners, you know, get resources, be able to network. And guess what? You are a developer where you could provide a service to these businesses that are locally. Now, this is Tampa Bay Chambers. This is my local area, but you could go in and search for any type, right? Again, Los Angeles, you could come in here, search Chambers of Commerce, uh, Chicago, 
right? You're going to find there's a Chambers of Commerce in there. You could go in, search New York, use the local resources that are available to you and other business owners. I know you are a developer. You're trying to find a job, but guess what? You have a skill, all right? Not only can you go in and do this for a company, but you could do it for yourself. So you got to start thinking like this. Now, the next one that we have right here is meetup.com. Now on meetup.com, you could go in and search for business. Yes, there's meetup groups that you could go for developers, but guess what? We already hanged out with enough developers. We trying to get it back. We trying to go in and hang out with the business owners so we could provide our services. We could go in, get paid, and also to get to go and build some real projects. All right. This is the time when you got to be active. So yes, go on meetup.com and search for business. And you're going to see that there's a bunch of different type of business meetups in your local area. Go and network, get out there, stop going in and just complaining online in the comment section and saying, man, I can't find a job, man, it's so hard. It's very simple. You got to go in and change this and you actually got to put yourself in the right place at the right time. It's not about waiting until something comes to you. You have to go to it. All right. Stop complaining online and just being, you know, negative. You just got to go in and make it happen because you're not the only one that's out here trying to get a job and get into the tech industry. There's other people. Now, who's going to get the position? The person who does the most, the person who goes in and trains himself the most, the person who goes in has a banging portfolio, the person who's actually networking, the person who's actually with some type of projects that look like the same type of things that they're going to be doing at a job. All right. So hopefully you guys like this video. Definitely leave me a comment below. Check out the links in the description or click on this video if you're watching this on YouTube or TikTok or Instagram or wherever you're watching this video. Okay. Definitely follow me coding face. All right. Take care, guys.